see here from the Nathan Soul Force Koi fan page to ask Nathan some questions that were posted online for him from the fans. Good evening, Nathan. Hey. Sham Wells of Corvallis has two questions for you. He asks, how did you transition from wrestling to MMA? Well, I had this uh, burning desire to continue to compete after uh, working long days. I just figured it was uh, it was just the next step in order to, to kind of put out this competitive fire I have. It's something that burns inside and I, I needed to fuel it with something and I thought MMA would be a great, uh, great, great conquest of uh, a special thing. He also asks, why has it taken so long for you to get recognition despite beating some opponents who are currently in the UFC? I think basically that is from uh, no airplay. Nobody's seen the fights. Nobody talked about the fights. Uh, I, I think that um, it's really MMA is a popularity contest. And uh, it's who has the biggest name. I mean, you watch what all that crap on television is. It's like you get these popular figures, and, and they they hardly can walk straight forward, you know. And, and uh, they're idols in our culture. Uh, it just hasn't happened for me, but in time, I'm sure that I'll be recognized and noticed and uh, appreciated for my uh, my uh, services out there in the in the octagon. Chris Tegethoff of Southeast Portland asks you, how much research goes into evaluating an upcoming opponent's fighting style, and at what point does that hurt rather than help? Tegethoff. Is that how you say it? Tegethoff? Tegethoff. Is, is that French or is that Canadian? Maybe both. Anyways, that's a good question, Chris. I appreciate it. Um... Yeah, I do do some research and uh, evaluation before uh, I face off with an opponent. Basically, I'm looking for, in the videotape of their previous fights, um, where's their conditioning at, do they have the heart, um, what their skill set is, are they well-rounded, are they particular in a certain aspect of MMA. Um, I look at it all. But basically when it comes down to it, I, I, it's a simple component. Can they last 15 minutes with me? And uh, most of the time it's no. And I figure that that's the way I evalu evaluate my opponent. Great question. Thank you. Steven Saltzman of Portland asks you, why do you shave your head before every bout? Another great question. It must be these Oregonians, man. They're just... Smart people. Um, I shave my head because it's a uh, purification. It's um, it's uh, uh, a moment that is undescribable, and I'm preparing myself mentally for uh, something that is very rare and uh, is personal to me. And I feel like that is just the best way to set forth the. the the type of uh, style and uh, the, the, what I want to accomplish in the fight. And it's, it starts with that day of preparation and getting myself ready. And uh, that happens when my best friend comes over and shaves my head. And uh, I, that's when the focus begins for me of uh, dismantling my opponents. Is it special only for Portland when you shave your head? or is I, uh, It's a Portland thing. It's... Uh, I joke around it's uh, because my buddy lives here and, and I have access to a great barber. And uh, that's why it's here and it's uh, Portland is where my heart is. So it will be a Portland thing from this point forward. Michael Calloway from Roanoke, Texas asks, who do you want to fight next? Ooh, I want to fight the hype fighter that has got name recognition uh, coupled with uh, a high level skill set and most important heart 
because at the end of the day, I don't care about the wins or the losses. I care about giving an epic battle that the fans appreciate. And that truly is why I'm in this sport is because I love it. It's fun. And um, so any of those uh, factors, all three, is basically what I'm looking for when I fight my next opponent. My last opponent, he had, uh, uh, he had the hype, but uh, he had a little bit of the wrestling skill. But he lacked heart, and uh, I'm looking for fighters that are gonna give me those three components and come at me hard, so we can give an epic battle that people will talk about. Uh, pr probably when uh, my last opponent has a few fights and gains a better skill set and, and, and gets a heart, uh, maybe I can take him on. Uh, otherwise, just give me those those components in a fighter, and let's do it. Any last words for those of us on the fan page? Um, just keep uh, keep on there. Keep uh, posting. See how. Uh, can, let me know how you're doing. And uh, you know, most importantly, I want to give a shout out to the uh, working class people. Uh, much love. Keep on what you're doing. Work hard through this recession. Support your family. Do what you got to do, man. Uh, it ain't easy. Being greasy. Peace.